Welcome to the flipped lecture on jeans. Remember, as in all these flipped videos, extract what you need according to the level that you're at at the moment. I'll be saying some basic things, but then maybe adding little bits and pieces to that that may not be in your syllabi, but it's important that you know that uh, the level to which you have to go. Unless, of course, you're like me, you just love it, and you just go for gold and learn it all. So here we have the DNA. We have, in another video, looked at the structure of DNA. And we said that that structure was a helical structure made up of sugar phosphate backbone. And then we have these nitrogenous bases coming off. So a gene. Well, what is a gene? Well, other than the fact they're what you wear, um, it is a section of DNA. So if I was to draw this DNA here, of course, the gene's what you wear is spelt differently. But um, if this is the backbone, so the sugar phosphate backbone, and off that backbone we have our nitrogenous bases. So what I've done is I've split the DNA up, so here's our DNA. I've split the DNA up to make a single strand, okay? And here we have a single strand. And if I'm looking at this region here, I'm only looking at that region there, then that region there is made up of a series of bases, so we might have C, C, T, A, C, C, G, etc, etc, etc. And that segment of DNA will code for a characteristic, it will code for a trait. So let's just write down some terms here, I guess. The first thing is we have a gene. Okay, so a gene is a region of DNA that codes for a trait or characteristic. Now that's a, that's a, basic, very, that's a basic definition for uh, early biology. And so we might say in early biology that that's what a gene is. And this gene here might code for, let's say, uh, the eye color. All right, and in particular, eye color is determined by, at the basic level, two genes. We know that's not really true when we learn more, more uh, biology. But we say B representing brown. And then we can say B representing blue. All right, and so when we get into some genetics, we say these two what are called alleles. They're a form of a gene. This form here might have this structure. And the B form might have... Um, some extra, instead of going CCG, it might go CCCCCG, right? So at the very basic level, there's different arrangements of the nucleotide bases that give region to a different allele. Okay, and in, in basic biology, we say that brown eyes is determined by the B form, the B allele, and if that's present, then you can be brown eyed, right? So at the very basic biology level, we say that that gives rise to the phenotype brown eyes. Okay, that's what you look like. Phenotype is what you look like. Genotype is the actual genetic makeup. And then we say that this here is blue eyes. And so at the, at the basic biology level, intro biology level, that's sort of what we say. But what we know better when we learn more about biology, we say, well, a gene doesn't code for a whole characteristic because characteristics can be polygenic, right? So eye color is an example of polygenic. In other words, the color of your eyes is determined by different number of genes that act together to give you the final phenotype. And so this particular way of determining eye color is not exactly true. Okay, um, So it determines about the amount of melanin produced, uh, the distribution of the melanin around the iris and the thickness of the melanin. And so we say that is polygenic. It is made up of different genes. And we'll go into that in more detail in other videos. But just keep in mind at the very basic level, we're going to say that eye color is determined by this type of uh, genetics. And for, to keep it simple, all right? And so from a simple definition of what a gene is, it's a region of DNA that codes for a characteristic and it's located at a specific lo location or locus on the chromosome, okay? And so chromosome is nice and big. Chromosome is made up of multiple or many, many, many genes. And those genes are segments of DNA that code for a particular characteristic. We'll look in a separate video at the more advanced definition of what a gene is, um, and we'll try and keep it basic at this one. Okay, so in this particular one, we've used these things called alleles, right? And they are different forms, different forms of a gene. And when we talk about alleles, we usually say uppercase is dominant, is recessive. Okay, so we say uppercase is dominant, lowercase is recessive. We'll look at the next section in just a minute. Okay, continuing on with genes. 
All right, so we have these letters to represent dominant and recessive genes. When they're together like this, right, sort of think of it um, where we have uh, two capital Bs, that, that we call homozygous. Homozygous dominant, prefix homo meaning the same. Then we have the hybrid form or heterozygous. And then, of course, we have homozygous recessive, right? two little b's, for example, in this particular instance. So homozygous recessive. So our chromosomes are made up of lots and lots of genes um, on the, on the uh, set of chromosomes. And so we can have homologous chromosomes. So inside your cells, chromosomes um, pair up and they form homologous sets of chromosomes. And so you have one chromosome from your mum, one chromosome from your dad. So if you remember in uh, very basic biology, you have 23 pairs, and so they'll line themselves up like this. I'm not going to draw the whole 23. We'll be here all day, and it'll be too crowded. But here we have one homolog pair, and then we have a two second homolog pair. And we keep going until we get to the 23rd pair, and the 23rd pair is the sex-determining pair because it is there that you either have the presence or the absence of a Y chromosome. If you have XX, then you are female. If you have XY, then you are male. For humans, that is. Right? So we have 23 pairs, which is 46 chromosomes in total in what are known as diploid cells. Right? So every cell in your body is a diploid cell except the gametes or sex cells, which are half that. So they're called homologous chromosomes, and they pair up. And so we have um, this basic understanding of genes, that they code for characteristics. And at the basic level, we're thinking about hair color, eye color, skin color. You know, um, we can think internal characteristics. So they might code for proteins, and they code for enzymes. And so externally, we, we, we understand that they have you know, features such as... Uh, you know, high color, height, hair, size of ears, nose, whether you can do hitchhiker's thumb, which is the thumb bending all the way back like that. Um, whether you have widow's peak, well, can't see with me because I'm going bald, so you know, I've got the bald, the bald shine gene. Um, so there's lots of features that we look at that are determined by our genes. So our phenotype, what we look like, is determined by our genotype and the environment. Okay, but we'll get into that in another video. But we've also got internal uh, features. So the proteins we have, the hemoglobin we have, the structure of you know muscles and the protein fibers that make up the myosin inside our skeletal muscle. You know, all that is of course made by genes. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a basic understanding of what genes are. They are the blueprints from which we are made, and uh, I'll see you in the next video when we talk more about the actual genetics or hereditary of using our understanding that we talked about in this video. See you.